What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm really going to be challenging you with how you think, how you operate, and a couple of things that I have been thinking about a lot. Because what I like to do is I like to look at the successful coaches that we help that have come through our program. And I like to kind of boil down what are the things that they do that others aren't doing, right? What do they do that maybe you're not doing? And um, when I go through this, I don't want you to feel offended. Um, and if you do, that's fine. You can just unsubscribe from, from my channel. Cowboy's not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Um, but I'm telling this to help you, okay? Okay. And it might be offensive, and that's fine, right? But here's the deal. When I look at across the board of coaches that we've helped that have done very well, and I don't just talk about like financially, right? Yes, that's one of the pieces. But when I look at, you know, how happy are they with their business? Who are they training? What are they doing? Like, are they living their mission? And then it's like, have they reached their financial goals? And are they on track to reach their financial goals? Those are the things I look at. It's not just about money. If it was just about money, right? I know a lot of people who have a lot of money who, who are miserable, right? Th those people might not be happy, right? They're miserable, probably not happy, <laughs> right? So what are these things that these successful coaches are doing, right? So I have kind of a, very short list of things that are on my whiteboard here. Uh, these are things that I see daily when I walk into the office. These really help me as far as getting more uh, mental clarity with what I need to be doing during the day and how to better operate, right? And I wanted to share this with you because these are the things I have been teaching coaches that are, have gone through our program that have done very well, right? And I'm going to just share a couple of these with you. So number one, you need to take violent action, right? So for me, what does that mean? That means that when I have an idea, I figure out how to do it. I don't ask myself, should I do it? Right? I figure out how, what are the steps? What's the manual? How, where, where, how? Okay, we got this. Boom. We're working on it. Boom, it's finished. And a great example, and, and I, I have this book here, I'll show you in a second. But this is my favorite book for business, right? And it's called The Perfect Day Formula. Now, this is a, a great book, but it's not going to be a great book if you just read the first chapter, which is what a lot of coaches and, and personal trainers and business owners do, is they start their business and they don't get stuck in. They hesitate, they wait, they ask too many questions, they overanalyze, they are paralyzed by fear, and they're not taking violent action. For me, like I know for a fact I'm not the smartest dude on the planet, but I surround myself around people who are way smarter, way more successful. That helps me a lot. That has fast-tracked what I do significantly. But the thing that, that helps me is I take violent action. Ask yourself, do you take violent action? Like, are you still talking about the, the idea of starting an online business six months after you said you're going to do it? Like, why haven't you done it? So you're not executing. You need to take violent action. Another thing that, that I have here that is very common with coaches that are very successful is, there it is, all right, it's embrace the marathon. Right in 2020, right? I don't have the exact number, but I, I, I read this recently. It was like if you go outside and you go drive and, and just throughout your normal day, if you're watching TV or YouTube, whatever, I think you see close to like 5,000 ads per day. It's probably more than that now, right? And a lot of these ads lure you in to distract you. Right? You get lured in, you get distracted, 
and then you don't go, go do the thing that you said you're going to do, right? And when you embrace the marathon, you start to shut off these little distractions, right? And I've talked to a lot of younger coaches that have been like, you know what, I want to I want to try to do this, 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 and this. I've talked to a lot of older coaches too, guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, that want to do so many different things and they're not honing in on the one thing, right? Because they don't want to do something for a long period of time that bores them. That's something that, that's not appealing. Most people don't want to take 10 years to build a successful business. That's just flat out. And I tell anyone, whoever joins my mastermind, hey, you don't make a million dollars in 30 days. Like how a lot of these morons on, on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram talk about, right? That, that doesn't happen. You have to work very, very hard. And there's no trick, right? There's no tricks. There's no gadgets. There's no button that I get to press when I come in this office where I press it and then me and Cowboy are sitting there laughing, ha, ha, ha. Today we just made $25,000. We didn't have to do anything. No, doesn't, life doesn't work that way. Business requires, all right, a successful business requires patience, persistence, and you need to embrace the marathon. You need to know it's going to take time, but you got to get stuck in. You got to get stuck in. If I'm not stuck in with this book, it's not going to help me. All right. And go look it up. Go look it up today on Google. How many people finish reading books when they buy them? It's such a small percentage, such a small percentage. It's probably the same percentage. How many people have a successful business? <laughs> that probably lower, right? Now, another thing here, and this is very important that, that I share this with you because you might be struggling with this, right? And it's be the best and let the results speak for themselves, all right? How many people do you know that are on social media that you've seen, whether it be Twitter, uh, YouTube, like, I, I don't know. There's so many other stupid social medias. Like, I, I just focus on putting out content. I don't consume a lot of content. Um, but for me, it's like, there, there's, every time I've gotten online, there's a lot of people who like to be the loudest in the room, right? They like to, show off what they have versus who they help, right? And this is, this is a, an attention thing, right? So many people at night, they crave when they, like, right before they go to bed, oh, I cannot wait until I check Instagram tomorrow. And when I check Instagram tomorrow, I'm going to have a thousand likes. Oh, I can't wait for that. And they get high off this feeling. Right? You know what's better than uh, a thousand likes on your next video or on your next post? Making ten thousand dollars that month. Right? Zero likes. How about that? Right? So that's that's a question you ask yourself. Do you want to be popular, or you want to like make a difference in your finances? Do you want to be this person that's really liked on social media, like? Guys, I'm telling you right now, I've talked to, to coaches that have huge brands on social media. And a lot of these guys are not working with clients. Hey, why would they be on the phone with me? Hey, if they were that big, why would they be on the phone with me? All right? And fortunately, I've been able to help some of them. Some of them who realize, wow, I could be doing a lot better. Like I've been able to help them. Some of those guys, they want to be social media gurus, right? They want, they want the attention, man. They, they want, they want people to like their crap. And, uh, I'll tell you the, the most successful coaches I help their, their digital footprint is like a speck in the sand, right? It's a speck. They don't, they know it's not about them. What they do though, and this is what I do as well. We talk about our clients and we show their results and we are results based company. The company is not based around me. The 
company, your company is not based around you. It's, it's based around the success of the clients that you have. That is different, right? That means that you don't care about yourself. That means you care about your clients and you're only looking to get them results. And when you do that, you can build a machine and you're building a results based machine. That is the only thing that matters. So when you think about the things that I've talked about here, right? Taking violent action. That means you execute. You're not thinking about should I, it's how do I do it? There's two different conversations you can have with yourself, right? Embrace the marathon. Don't get caught up by these little shiny objects, right? Get stuck in, get stuck in. And if you haven't played soccer, you probably won't understand what this means. But when you get stuck into a tackle, all right, and it'd be like this with any sport, that like you go harder than the opponent, right? And I had this, this thing that I would have in my head when I was a kid. When I went to go tackle someone in soccer, there's going to be one of two different outcomes, right? One of two. It's I'm winning the ball, right? Or I'm fouling them, right? And both of those options have nothing to do with me being the one who is losing the ball or me getting fouled. So I had an aggressive nature and you need to be like that, all right? with what you're doing with business. You're not getting sidetracked. You get stuck in to the battle, all right? And then we let the results speak for themselves. And when you do that, you're the best. You don't have to be this, this Looney Tune online and, and try to show all, all your crap off. Don't need to do that, all right? You need to focus in on your clients. And a great example to think about one of my favorite mark marketing companies that I have studied like a, like a hawk over the last decade is Beachbody, All right? If you don't know what that is, go look it up. They're the, they're the people who started P90X and Insanity, all these fitness related products. And what they do better than most, all right, because everyone's copied them now, is they show results. They show transformations. You should be doing this with your clients. That's what gets attention. That's what, that's what puts dollars in your bank account, right? Likes and comments and feeling loved on Instagram, all right, does not put dollars in the bank account, okay? I promise you it doesn't. I know it doesn't. I'm talking to people who have way bigger followings than I do, way bigger followings, and they're struggling financially, right? Guys, 50 to 500,000 uh, followers I've been talking to. Why? Well, it's about them. It's not about serving their clients. It's not about showing results. And I'm telling you the cold hard truth here. And here's the thing. If you are like, well, I want, I really want people to like me. It's not about you. Your business is not about you. My business is not about me. I'm here to help you, right? I'm here to help you. I am not here to be buds or dogs with you. No, here to help you. I'm going to tell you straight. And that's why when you look at what you're doing, if you're, if you're having a problem executing with your business, if you're having a problem making the changes, got to look at yourself in the mirror and think about the three things we said. Like if you're not taking violent action, like, and if you don't learn how to do that, then the ideas are going to haunt you in your dreams, right? That's, that's going to happen, right? If you're not embracing the marathon, you're going to have one foot in, one foot out all the time. And that's not going to help you either because you'll get swallowed up by your competition, by someone who's just more committed, uh, for, for someone who's more dedicated, they're going to be able to eat you alive, right? And if you're this Looney Tune on social media and it's all about you, they, you're going to quietly get eaten alive by someone like me that doesn't care about that. I care about helping clients get results. And this is why you, like I, I've said this for so long on this channel, when you do the opposite of what other people do, you win. And you always hear people say that, 
And, and everyone at this point is like, oh, well, everyone says that. Yeah, but who actually does it? Who actually does it? Like, talk to those people. Talk to someone like me. I do the opposite. Like, when all, all the coaches and trainers in my city were charging like $20 per session, right? When at the beginning, when I started my business, I was doing it for free, right? Then I started charging $15 per session, right? There was a, there was a period where uh, I was doing private training. It was $800 a month. And I can tell you for a fact, my soccer training program at that point was the most, it was the biggest investment in the United States for a private one-on-one -on -one soccer training. I know that, right? So I did the opposite of what everyone else did. I, I wasn't working with uh, clients who weren't willing to invest top dollar. They weren't, they, they were going to pay a pretty penny <laughs> to train my, in, in my program. Why? It wasn't because it was expensive. It was because it was the best, got the best results. All right, let, let the results speak for themselves. All right, put hundreds of kids in, in a college that have gotten scholarships. Those things have already happened, right? So this is why you always had to do the opposite. And you let the results speak for themselves. So when you see this, this jabroni online who's, who's yelling and getting all this attention and they're in your city and they do the same thing you do, do the opposite of them. Show more results. They're probably not giving results. They're probably just talking about themselves. All right, that's it for today's video. I know if you commit to these three things I'm talking about, you're gonna see a huge difference, All right? The best way to get in touch with me, if you need my help, send me a text today at 210-960-5771. When you do that, All right, you're gonna get a response from me. I don't have an automated messaging system that goes out, that is my number, All right? And when you text me, like treat me like a normal person too. Like, don't just say, here's what I need help with. Like, tell me who you are. Tell me what area or what city or state you're in. And then let, we'll have a normal conversation. All right. That's it, guys. I'll holler at you later. Have a great week. And uh, I hope you apply these, these different lessons here. See you later.